Please welcome the lovely Gina Carano, everybody. <laughs> would be nervous to be in a talk show. I mean, the worst goes, then goes wrong, kick my ass. It'd be well, fine. Usually I get to, like, let out some aggression, you know, with this nerve, and so I might have to. No, you must. <laughs> anyway, look, there's, there's no glory in kicking my ass. You need to... Uh, <laughs> it's like, like, you know, Richard Simmons could kick my ass, really. <laughs> Do you remember that? Man, there was a guy who once sued Richard Simmons for hurting him yeah. in an airport or something. And I was like, are you... Have you lost all semblance of manhood that you admit? <laughs> That Richard Simmons would hurt you in a... Anyway, that's oh, wait, just me. Was that before my time a little bit then? Probably. Was that? Oh, well, yeah, it yeah. might be. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been fighting for a long time? No, um, just four or five years. Four or five years? Yeah. D does it hurt? Um, certain things, yeah, but I'd rather, you know, I'd rather get a black eye than have a miserable life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not mutually meaning, exclusive, you know, meaning, that... I'd rather, you know, you know, have a job where I travel and right. fight people and train than be married with children who hate me and a horrible husband. Is that the only option available to you? Because I'm sure you can have both. I think it'll be fine. Now, t tell me a little bit about the, uh, about the martial arts, the mixed martial arts. What exactly do you use? Uh, boxing? Oh, boxing, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai. What's Muay Thai? Because I thought that was... You know, yeah, <laughs> Muay Thai. Muay Thai, Muay Thai. Right. Muay Thai is just like a hardcore form of kickboxing, so... Right. It just gets the job done. Everything you do hurts the other person. <laughs> so if I kick you, it's gonna hurt. If I, you know, yeah. elbow you, it hurts. I don't know why. I'm kind of like, I'll be honest, I find this kind of sexy. That's, that's good. That's weird, isn't it? Because, well, I, I, I mean, I'm not even German, and I'm like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad some guys out there. Yeah, no, know. I mean, do you have trouble with, with men and, and, and dating and all that kind of thing? Well, I can just see them thinking, you know, could she, you know, could she kick my ass? And I'm like, you know, I just want a guy to be comfortable and confident and, you know. Well, but if I can, all right, I might, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no kicking anybody's ass, even if you can in a relationship. It's a different set of rules. Uh, what kind what of relationships you... are you in? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh... What is your favorite kind of like get the job done hold in the ring? Do you have a, a speciality, a hachi gishi or something? Um, I think my one of my fights, I, I ended in a rear naked choke. A, a what choke? You want, you want me to show you? No, I don't. It's a. <laughs> it's a. You kind of you put your hooks in on the person's legs right here. Hooks. Uh, hooks your feet. Oh, your feet. Yeah. yeah. Do you have different words for feet? <laughs> and then you wrap your arm around them. And then kind of squeeze until they, and they tap. Uh, is that what you do? Out. You tap out or they, they pass out? Yeah, they pass out or they tap out. <laughs> you like of, I you do like kind it. of like that. I'm kind of like, what the hell is wrong with me? I'm, there's, a whole, there's a whole part of me I never knew about. I'm like, wow, really? <laughs> so, like, you can kill me? <gasps> That's awesome. <laughs> That's weird. Have you, have you ever been in a fight before? Yeah, I've been in a lot of fights. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, never with anyone as attractive as yourself. I would say. Um, maybe that's where I was going wrong. I, I um, because it would be guys in bars. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like, you know, proper fighting. It was, yeah, you know. That's where I started. And in bars, really? Well, I'm kind of a shy person, and so people mistake that. You know, they think it's like stuck up or whatever. When really, some people just like to keep to themselves a little. And Where did you grow up? Where are you from? Vegas, Vegas. Oh, Las yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Oh, oh no, don't patronize her. <laughs> Jeez, how does that explain? Yeah, it makes me crazy when you do that. <laughs> Yeah, I went to a small Trinity Christian high school in the middle of Vegas, um, across the street from a gay bar and a jeweler's, and a, yeah, from five minutes away from there. I know where you're talking about. <laughs> I know that little place. <laughs> do you do a lot of fighting in Vegas? Um, I used to, but now we're traveling all over the place. The next one's in Florida. I've been to Thailand, you know. It's, it's a huge growth uh, sport, this thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, everybody's crazy the for it. Fastest growth. Why do you think that is? I think it's because it's honest, it's real. It's kind of like you can't really hide, you know, anything in the cage. It's just real. You're, you know, two people going at it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it, kind of it, like it, sex. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
Whatever way you get the job done, that's how you get the job done. It is delightful to meet you, young lady. You have done it. Lovely Gina Carano, everybody. We'll be right back. First of all, uh, congratulations. Uh, I have uh, uh, just the fight scenes are so. I, I'm in love with you now. Uh, I don't, I'm a repressed Catholic. Seeing a woman beat a guy, it's just it's fantastic. Uh, it is uh, so much to talk about. First of all, uh, how did you? You started out as a mixed martial artist, and you know you're such, uh, such a beautiful woman. I'm just curious how you got interested in mixed martial arts in the first place. Um, well, I was drinking four days with my ex-boyfriend one night, and, um... <laughs> no, I don't need to hear any more. <laughs> Anything makes sense after that. Right. Yeah. Of old English. Yeah. And, um, he wanted to kind of change his life. And so he woke up the next day and went to a gym and started training. And then, uh, and I went in and watched him like the good girlfriend I was. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I started, you know, fighting five months later. So you were watching, it starts off... With so your boyfriend. Nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. <laughs> I, after what you can do, I've seen what you can do. I would rather get punched in the face right now. This is, ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> you can, if at any point you don't like the way the interview's going, you can just take me out <laughs> and then turn on Andy. Uh, no, I, I, I'm curious because you, so you're watching uh, your boyfriend do it and then you thought, I'm gonna give this a try? Well, yeah, I walked into the gym and I, this Thai guy, this little Thai man was like, oh baby, you fat, you need to lose weight. And I was he like- He said you were fat? Yeah, well, I, I, I was chubby. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I really needed to get back into shape. Right. And so um, I started, you know, training with him actually, the same guy that called me fat. And, um, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And then I, five months later, I find myself in a gym in San Francisco, and it's like, like it's kind of like Fight Club. You show up and you fight whoever's there, and there's like no heat or, or there's no air on. There's 300 people in the gym, and it's like the the ring is down in the corner, and I was fighting this chick, and it was like. A... And you just knew this is the right thing for me. I'm good at this. <laughs> this I... feels good. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You've done uh, you're fighting in a cage. And you've said this. This is a quote of yours. You likened cage fighting to sex. Yeah. Uh, yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I want to know uh, why that's true in great detail. Well, if you think First of all, there's a cage. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, we're not talking about your kinky perversions. Oh, yeah. oh. If you think about it, it's a very real interaction between two human beings, and it's um, it's like an energy. Like you have an energy, and I have an energy, and it's you know like an energy that nobody else is going to share. Yes. So. <laughs> Did they tell you I was a perv before you got here? I'm actually a huge fan of yours. Oh, thank you. I've been you. watching you with my 40s forever. You know? <laughs> All my fans are drunk. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, so it's an intense human connection that happens. So I could, I could yeah. see that. Yeah. Do you ever find that uh, your your partner, when you're fighting, tires more quickly than you do? Um, are we talking about men or women right now? Uh, are we talking about sex or fighting? I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. Whereas guys come in with the preconceived notion that they know how to punch and kick. Do you ever see the day when men and women face off? I really wouldn't want to see it. It'll save a lot of guys' ego. No, sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what does it feel like to knock someone out? Stunning. What's the most feminine thing about you? <laughs> My boobs. <laughs> Would you ever pose for Playboy? No. Favorite website? I go to MySpace and like, you know, people show so much love there and it's really nice. If blindfolded, could you tell the difference between men and women's sweat? Ew. Um, yeah, probably. When you're not training, what's your beverage of choice? I used to bartend, actually. 